Hi there, my name's John Maybe, and welcome to another Hippo Shorts. In this segment, we're going to talk about neurogenic claudication. So what is neurogenic claudication? It's basically a set of specific signs and symptoms that are due to the impingement or inflammation of, most commonly, the spinal nerves secondary to spinal stenosis. So with spinal stenosis, we can have a decrease in the diameter of the central canal, or it can involve the lateral neuroforamina. Symptoms of this condition include back pain, as you can imagine, right, or pain, numbness, or weakness in one leg or both legs, thighs, or buttocks. The characteristics, though, of, these, of this pain is that the pain increases with walking and standing, and the pain decreases with patients that are sitting or if they flex, particularly their lumbar spine, since that's most commonly where we see this condition. What you don't want to do, though, is confuse neurogenic claudication with vascular claudication. So vascular claudication, as you likely know, is due to atherosclerotic vascular disease. So that's the classic person, right, that walks a few blocks without any problem. Then when they start to have encroachment on their arterial supply, they, have a, um, they start to get pain walking a shorter distance. So that's the ischemic muscle pain that they get with um, a physical activity. That's vascular claudication. What we're talking about here is neurogenic claudication. On this diagram, the spinal stenosis here, we see an example of an encroachment directly on the spinal cord. So again, depending on where, the, um, where we have this uh, process occurring, you can have encroachment directly on the spinal cord, again, more commonly on the uh, uh, spinal nerves themselves. So the green arrow here is showing you like a compression of the spinal cord. That little oval circle that we see is showing you where the neural foramina is. And again, that's probably the more common place that we see encroachment and production of this a symptom complex. The last thing that we see in this diagram here is the shopping cart sign. So actually this, this um, figure in or figure at really doesn't give the, uh, the shopping cart sign justice. What we typically see here is not the person standing straight, but rather the person typically is like hunched over their shopping cart a little bit. So that hunching over provides for that flexion, which gives the uh, pain relief in that particular circumstance. So when you see that, that's classic um, with um, this particular condition, neurogenic claudication. So that wraps it up for this hippo short. For more information on this or other topics, come on down to hippoeducation.com, and we'll see you next time.